Hello and welcome to this how-to video about GraphQL in OPEX. When installing the add-on about GraphQL REST API on OPEX, you will have the options to also install Graph Voyager and GraphQL. Those two additional components are external components that allow you to uh, query and navigate uh, the schemas. If those two components were installed, usually in uh, pre-productions or development environments, you will have access to this uh, website directly on the URL of your server slash OPEX GraphQL. Of course, the URL may change depending on how you have installed uh, the add-on. This is the default uh, path. The GraphQL and Graph Voyager allow you to navigate the schema. So in the GraphQL, you have access to all the queries you can make, all the mutation you can make. So here you can see all the queries you can make on application and other uh, fields you can make on other elements. So you can start to make your query here, writing queries, and then s uh, start to write what you want to query. Let's say, for example, application. You can specify what are the fields that you want to have. Once again, here you have the auto completions as well. So you can start to write uh, what you want. Uh, and if you want to get some link to other uh, items, you can also uh, query uh, those uh, items. To execute the query, simply press the play button. And you will get uh, the result of your executed query. Like for example here, the application called account management and the link with the, the business process and so on. If you want to make some filters, just start to type some filter, like modification date greater than, uh, let's say, uh, beginning of this month. Execute the query and see the result is limited to the one that has been modified. Of course, if we want to be able to make sure we need to actually put the modification date in the result to view uh, the value of the date. So maybe we need to be more precise if we want to get more limited results. This is how basically you build your query. You can use this query and copy paste it into Postman, for example, uh, to do your test of the REST API. And you can also uh, copy paste the query into your programming uh, that you do to uh, query OPEX. So thank you for watching this video about uh, GraphQL. 